Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here, and today we're going to build dual read registers. Uh, in the last video we made the accumulator, or the, the last uh, video that I did this on. Yeah, so this time we're going to make dual read registers, and dual read registers are important for if you want to read from either side of the adder, or if you want to send it to the adder on a different side. Um, a different input. So that's the purpose of it, and we're gonna get into building one right this moment. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is um, comparators. So we have a comparator here, and then a repeater here, just to make sure we can access this comparator using a redstone signal. So Let's just do that. And I thought this was a clean design. I don't know if anyone does a design like this, but I hope um, it's useful. So yeah, we're going to just um, design it like this. And then a torch will go here. Like that. And uh, a lot of you seem to like the, uh, the computer videos, like just simple computers um, with the Python script that I uploaded a few days ago. I might start doing more of those, depends, um, if more people request it. So I'm going to do this. Okay, so now what we have is a dual read register and I'll show you how this exactly works it's based off the same principle of the um, selector switch I uploaded so we're gonna just pull this lever there we go so we got an output on A or B whatever you wanna call it okay and then if we enable this There we go. Okay, yeah. So you have to put those on subtraction mode. So now we can switch back and forth between each register. It's not too slow, but it, it could be faster. I just, um, I'd have to work around with these designs for a little bit. So now we're going to build all the other ones. And hopefully from watching you can understand how these work and how they're made. So the idea is um, both of the or the line is being fed into both of them and basically you have these two AND gates that are on it like this. So these are going to be the AND gates since they're on subtraction mode and I will put an annotation showing my um, comparator logic gates video and also my comparator video explaining comparators so you can understand what how this works okay so this is where we have the output right there And then we got to build this one like so and basically we have this going into here and this going into here and it makes a nice little square in the middle which is cool so these need to be on and I've stopped putting my videos in 1080p because um, a three minute t video takes a good 30 minutes to render and that's kind of outrageous. Um, tell me what you think. I don't think it really makes much of a difference, but it could. So, yeah, so we're putting that there. And besides, uh, my videos are already are only in 1920 by 1080. That's the resolution of my monitor, but Minecraft isn't a very fabulous game to really show off graphics. Yeah, 
So, ooh. There we go. And then one more thing I forgot. You need um, this torch up here. This is the control logic right there. So basically, by flicking that switch, um, you're able to switch back and forth because this turns off or this turns on, depending on what the state of, of the lever is. So um, we're gonna just build this out like that. And then this should be it for these. Like that. Okay, so now we have dual read registers, and we can read from either one, and it'll still work. Like so. There we go. So, um, if we just allow the, um, the outputs of the accumulator to come out, like that, they will go to either A or B. Yeah. Fix that one. Um, and I can switch back and forth quite quickly. So now it's going to A and then back to B. So this is the end of this video. If you like it, then go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, then go ahead and subscribe do videos um, about every day, so that will be it.